The future is electric, which is pretty cool. And usually e-bikes are so clean and quiet, so they don't give me what I'm used to. But meet the Emula, a new superbike with a big difference. I've waited for this moment so long, so now it's time to do it. I have come to the cradle of Italian motorsport just outside of Milan to see the future of e-mobility, or better, to feel it. Because I'm a real biker, I obviously love the sound that motorbikes make, the thrill of the engine and the smell of the gas. The guys of Two Electrons say they developed an e-bike which is just as good as my BMW. So in the name of green mobility, I'm willing to give it a go. Before we start, let me give you an idea of what Emula does. The Emula is naturally silent because it's still an e-bike, but they have given it speakers, vibration units and a subwoofer. And in the future, they even plan to put the sound just in your helmet so no one else is going to be disturbed by the sound of a motorbike. And a lot of different modis so you can actually have a lot of motorbikes in just one. Check it out, comment below and please subscribe on Raft if you would like to see more like this. Emula, oyun, e-mobilite ve klasik motosiklet gibi birçok farklı dünyanın bir karışımı. Fark yaratansa McFly özelliği. Bu klasik içten yanmalı motorlardan alışık olduğumuz his ve sürüş deneyimini taklit eden yenilikçi bir sistem. Two Electron bunu his dönüştürücü şeklinde tanımlıyor. Biz de bu motosikleti test etme şansına sahip olduk. Reve özel. Wow, that was pretty sweet. This is probably the best thing I've ever tried. It really feels like motorbiking. Like everything just feels like it. This is unbelievable. You really have to try this out. Oh my God, I have no comment left. I have to talk to the people who came up with this. Hello. Finally meeting the people that came up with this great idea. Oh my God. Hello, Julia. Hello, Julia. Hey. Hello. So what is so special about Emula? We have uh, two different mods. The, the basic AV, we call it uh, boring mod. <laughs> It actually stands in the boring mode. <laughs> exactly. There is a direct transmission and uh, no sound. It's like as a normal EV. And uh, the, the main feature that is the McFly with the three different uh, engines at the moment, mm -hmm. a 600 uh, four-cylinder. A uh, two-stroke 250. There is also the e stroke the new e stroke that is a complete new new engine. The sound of the future. Exactly. So with them we have a um, uh, electric motor with a direct transmission to the wheel. So we have uh, no gearbox. We emulated managing the torque request uh, at the, the regenerative braking. Uh, we use our software to emulate uh, uh, power band, uh, uh, torque curve, uh, number of gear, everything. So we can uh, select uh, the, the engine that, uh, that you want to, to ride and just ride. If you want, you can uh, use the clutch also. Yeah. The, the feedback is exactly the same. Uh, uh, so use your left half of the bike. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's the first uh, EV with the, when you use the, the left side of your body. Yeah, I could tell on the on the track. It was good to have it. I'll show you the vibration uh, with the two-cylinder engine. <laughs> so good, I love it. We have two different uh, sound on the bike. In the, in the front, we have the mechanical part, the iron intake system, everything, and the exhaust in the rear. For example, you can, you can hear when I engage the, the gear. 
all laid inside. Yeah, yeah. Just like normal. Exactly. So despite the clutch and the oil tank, which the bike would not need, it has it. Why? We use uh, the digital information of the clutch to our controller, but for the mechanical feedback, uh, we use, uh, we use an, ar an arbor, so we need uh, the oil tank. We have a lot of, from the sound to the vibration, uh, the clutch, the, the gearbox emulated, uh, the possibility to switch to uh, different uh, engines, and we, we bring the human experience to a level never reached before. McFly teknolojisi bunu elde edebilmek için elektromotorla performans ve dişli oranını kopyalarken bir yandan da geleneksel içten yanmalı motosikletlere has ses ve hatta titreşim gibi özellikleri taklit ediyor. The market is so curious about our technology because it solved one of the problem of EV missing of emotion, missing of engine soul. But it's just the begin. Uh, we don't want just to emulate the endothermic engine. We believe that the user experience is the basis of motorcycle riding. You need to have fun, you need to have emotion, you need to change gear, you need to see vibration, you, you need to have uh, immersive sensation. With one bike, I can ride one, ten, one thousand engine in one. You can switch from one package to one other just with one swipe. Automatic gear shifting, launch control, big fire, just typing on the dashboard in real time, not during driving. When you stop, you can change the configuration. You can increase and decrease the volume. You can pass the, the sound from the bike to the helmet. You can do everything. Our purpose is e-mobility with zero emission with full range of emotion. Can I use your tech to design my own bike experience? Oh yes, Julia. Sit down with me and we design your dream bike for you. Yes! <laughs> Two Electron şimdilik Emula'yı bir seri haline getirmeyi düşünmüyor. Hedef motosiklet üretmek yerine bu teknolojiyi büyük bir motosiklet üreticisine satmak. Ancak McFly teknolojisinin sunduğu imkanlar göz önünde bulundurulunca bu sistemi bir elektrikli motosiklette görmemiz an meselesi gibi. This driving experience was a real eye opener. The engineers of Emula from Two Electron created a great piece of work. They emulated the sound and even the performance characteristics of combustion engine. And even in boring mode, this was perfect fun. I can't wait to have more of this. Not just for me, but also for everyone out there who loves riding a motorbike. It's more than just a means of transportation. It's an attitude towards life, so we don't want to miss on that. So Emula could be the perfect solution for this problem. McFly sistemi otomobiller için de etkileyici bir gelişme. So you can get a bus from e-bikes? Let me know in the comments and please don't forget to subscribe to Rev if you want more content like this. Thank you very much. This is Julia.